Okay, team, you made it. You made it to the end of the class. And now uh, I want to just throw out the action plan. Uh, now, I'm filming this on the same day that I did the intro. And between the intro and the action plan, a whole bunch of stuff has happened. Is that right? You've learned, acquired a lot of vocab. So what I want to do is I want to give you three things to do between now and your test uh, just to do one final push. All right. So, so here's the here's the first thing. OK, hopefully you've approached this like you're playing to win. Yes. I hope that's a yes. And I'm hoping that you've made it a game, meaning every question is an opportunity to score a point, learn a concept, become familiar with the scenario. And I hope that's a yes. This is Carly Lloyd here. OK, she's a very famous soccer player. She goes after every single ball. Right. And it's and she's doing it. She's got mad skills and she's doing it under a lot of pressure. You've made this whole experience a game. Yes. And you're you're getting those skills you're going to need to pass your test. Now we got to do these three steps and these steps could be done, you know, in three days. It doesn't matter. But here's step number one. And they're going to seem very obvious, but they're really important. Step number one. Do me a favor, and I need you to read over your packet. Step number one is read your packet again two times. Read over your packet two times, meaning just go through it again one more time, reviewing that vocab. Yes, big thumbs up. So step one is to review your packet. That's number one. Uh, step two, which is, again, going to seem very obvious, uh, is to watch any class recordings that you want to watch again. Now you have 30 days to do that, 30 days. So you have 30 days if you want to watch anything to watch it. After the 30 days, the class is over. And there's, I'm sorry, the next class begins and, you know, there's no jumping ship at this point. You're in the class. You signed up for this class. I'm sorry. If you didn't get to it after 30 days, you know, th this class used to only be three days long. So to go from three days to 30 days, you, you have the time, okay? And so you need to, in the 30 days, watch those class recordings. So step two is to watch any missed class recordings. That makes sense, right? Step one is to read the packet. Step two is to watch the class recordings. And step three, which is very important, step three, I think is probably the most important, is to do those practice tests, okay? And I would say, doing the 54 ESL, doing the 56 SEI, and, and maybe trying the new 79 bilingual. These would all be really good practice exams to do for ESL, SEI, and bilingual teachers. So, so team, they're all good questions. They've got some relevant vocabulary and great scenarios. You should take a look at them, okay? Um, we have, uh, so step one is really quickly, uh, read over uh, read over your packets again. Get that vocabulary down, right? Uh, step two. Step two is to watch the class recordings if you missed anything. That seems pretty reasonable. Step three is to do those practice exams. Step three is to do those practice exams. Now, right now, the 79, it, I haven't put it out, out on, on this yet, but it will be there. So the 79 will be there. The 54 is right here. The SEI is right there. These are the ones that you want to make sure that you, you go through for additional practice. And when you do this, like take out those sheets and find out where you fall. It doesn't matter if this is ESL. It's going to, these exams go through overlapping concept. So for example, this one says here, apply knowledge of basic linguistics and social linguistic concepts. So it's going to involve, you know, concepts involving second language acquisition and second language acquisition terms and concepts and ideas that fall under there. Okay, so you wanna be able to see how well you do on this section. And, and you're gonna be able to tell. If you get a nine out of 10, that's good. Uh, if you get a, a four out of 10, that means this, these, this area needs to be clarified. Uh, so, and you need to go back and review stuff. So try and do the practice test, kind of get a sense of where you are with these ideas, okay? Do the 54, the 56, the 79. Thumbs up. Okay. And, and last thing, I got one last idea here. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna end with this. That's okay. We're starting a new year. And 
your new year is going to be challenging for you. But it's not just going to be challenging. You're not going to be the only one struggling, right? Your students too. Everyone's been impacted by the pandemic. Oh, the pandemic's over. We don't wear the masks anymore in school. I know that. But the the impact is still there, okay? You had just not seen the full effect of it yet. This is a multi-year generational impact, how it's impacted them. Um, I mean, if in, unless you're going into kindergarten right now or first grade right now, it has impacted you. Your second graders and third graders and fourth graders and fifth graders and sixth graders and high school students and middle school students, they've all been impacted. They're all behind. They're all struggling because they lost some time. And they're being asked to do things that they're they're really behind on, right? Everyone's behind. So if you're going to do this test, understand that they need you to, to do this test. They need you to pass this test. They need your help. I'm, I'm not joking. I'm very serious. So if you're trying to find motivation on, on what's going to wake you up in the morning and get this done, this should be your motivation. You should be able to be like, you know what? This is why I'm waking up at, at five in the morning to practice. Or this is why I'm staying up late an hour extra every night to, to get the practice in, okay? They need you to pass this. Now, I have always found that if you really want to be a teacher, if you really want to be a teacher, there should be nothing to stop you. There will be nothing. There'll be no tests that can get you away from doing your job. Eventually, you will work through this. You will climb this mountain of these exams. You're going to climb up every question, every concept. You're going to get better and faster at the skills that you need to pass this, okay? And, and understand that, that when you do pass it, you're going to be able to make and help these students. And that should be your goal. If you're listening to me right now and you're like, I don't care. I just want a job. I don't know how well it's going to turn out for you in the long run. You might get that job. It may not last. But this should be your driving force, okay? This is, this is a very solid driving force. You want to pass this so you can impact students. So let that be a driving force. I, I get the, the forces of wanting a job. I get that. I get the uh, uh, making money to feed my family. I understand that. But this one is also really important too. So hopefully you can tap into this. If you're looking for a reason why you do these practice exams and why you'd work so hard on this stuff and, and take these exams, it's because you want to help these students. And you're helping them during a really important time. Everyone this year uh, is going to be struggling and still working through the impacts of the pandemic, right? And and they're going to need they're going to need you to pass this test to get it done. All right, team. I hope this class has helped. There's an epilogue here. Uh, that's the last section I want you to do, but you can go to that now. I, I really hope that this class you found some uh, value in this class. I want you to let me know. Send me feedback. Fill in any of those surveys. But please let me know, okay? Team, I, I, I just want to wish you the best on your exams. And I want to wish everyone a wonderful school year, okay? All right, you know that there's a number at the bottom of every page of your packet. So so if, if you didn't get that, I want you to call in and ask questions during teacher consultations. And I want to hear from you. You know, I hope you're hearing me now on that, okay? So team, all right, we're at the end. You did it. Do these three things. Read your packet. Go through the class recordings in the 30 days and take those practice tests, okay? And uh, let me know how your exams go. Oh, and the last thing you can do, uh, if you could be, you'd be a real hero if you did this. You'd be a real hero for everyone. The last thing, the last thing you could do is send your team poster in. Be a rock star. And I'll share this with the group, okay? All right, thanks, team. Uh -huh.